First, some current and former city employees claim that the city owes them years of on-call back pay. And now they're suing the city. Our Greg Chandler spoke with one of the plaintiffs in this case, and he joins us live now from the federal courthouse where that lawsuit was filed. Greg. Well, Lee, attorneys for these city employees say they all work or worked in the wastewater department. Attorneys also say that while some supervisors in that department paid their employees for their on-call time, some supervisors, like their clients, did not. Juan Garzo worked for the city's wastewater department for 27 years. Before retiring last year, Garza says he spent countless weekends on call. Weekends Garza claims he was never paid for. They knew about the, uh, the on-call pay. We were getting paid because, uh, I don't know, they, somebody dropped the ball or something. According to the city's classification and compensation procedures, on-call employees receive two hours pay for every 24-hour on-call shift while off-duty. Employees are due one hour's pay when on call in addition to their normal work day. You can go uh, out of town, you can do nothing, no, no enjoy uh, weekends or anything like that. You got to stay on call. The lawsuit filed here in U.S. District Court alleges the city violated the Federal Fair Standards Labor Act. The lawsuit started with four plaintiffs. That number is now up to 20. Attorney Josh Hopkins says all of the plaintiffs worked for the wastewater department. The city has a policy about on-call pay, but they apply it inequally to these workers, and that's what's wrong. Because of statutes of limitations, Garza can only get three years worth of back pay if he wins. He says he and his fellow plaintiffs just want what they feel they're owed. We're not asking for nothing else, just what belongs to us, you know. That's it. We get paid for what we didn't get paid. Now, no final dollar amount has been calculated in the suit. That'll have to be determined at trial. I reached out to the city for comment today. A spokesperson told me the city does not comment on legal matters. Steph.